promising promotion from League Two. Here's Joe Felix, a beautiful little dink ball forward, what a goal! Put in by Nkunku, but made by the genius of the assist. What a ball it was! When the plan Barrow came with, it was undone there by the genius of Joe Felix. And a scoop ball over the top, and Nkunku had the calm, had the class, and Chelsea had the lead. Brilliant in the approach play from Felix, and those two should develop a wonderful understanding, both equally as gifted. The finish isn't perfect, I wouldn't suggest, but it's quite close to farm and doesn't really sort his feet out. I suppose in the circumstances of goal this early against an outfit this strong, it doesn't really change your game plan for Barrow. And Hall releases Mudrick. Mudrick first time into the penalty area, well defended by Ben Jackson. Terrific ball in, nice play, Dewsbury Hall. First opportunity he's had to get turned and he finds his intended target. Nicely weighted pass. Oh, short. Gusto. Neto and Gusto puts it into the penalty area. Cheers <laughs> the, the, the Barrow supporters. 2,600 have made their very long, long journey down from Cumbria. Tactically, he's really accustomed to what the new Chelsea manager wants, and that was really evident. The last couple of appearances not exactly gone to plan, so he'll be keen, I think, to fully get the supporters on side. Here's Pedro Neto on the right for Chelsea, works it on to his left side, of course. He's got Gusto there if he wants to use it. There's an orthodox fullback, he crosses into the penalty area, and what a finish that is! It's Ankunku again! Proving to be too good for Barrow here. And Kunku with a delightful little snap as the ball went between his legs. He just diverted it past the goalkeeper. Christopher and into the back Rick of the Barrow net for the second time inside the first 15 minutes. Tinkunku, all right, boot, gets to the ball. That's all he can do there. You just need to help it on its way. Little flip, audacious, brilliant. And that trick already. Fifth of the season, but one in the Premier League, two against Sevet in the European playoff. Lovely touch again. And Kunku and Gusto put down right on the edge of the D. Ah, coming out here. Sam Foley, the veteran midfielder. Having to get through an awful lot of work and stay incredibly switched on. That position that Gusto is occupying, really problematic. And here's Joe Phillips. This is the post and he hits Farman, he's really unfortunate on the back and Rose agonisingly for Barrow's sake into the back of the net once more. Anticipating a lot of time being added on at the end of this first 45. Woodrick is away from the challenge here and into the penalty area. He defended at the near post in the field for South. Again, that's a nice combination at the moment. Dewsbury Hall, really good from Woodrick, his best moment. Teed up the top from Barry Ashir. Outside of the penalty area, comfortably saved by Farman. Barry Ashir just looking to bend it to the left bank corner. But as Chelsea's shape changed, because obviously Nagusta was playing that sort of hybrid um, right back. Inside right ball. Chilwell has come on left. There's a cuckoo onto Mudrick. He squares it from Neto. And just two minutes into the second half, Chelsea extend the advantage. A rejig from Enzo Varesca. And there is no respite for Barrow, who then hit hard again right at the start of the second half. Just cutting through them so easily. And every pass is immaculate here, really, when they have the space to 
to break. And mount an attack. Just putting it on the plate for Neto. The opposite wide man. He's not going to miss that in his right boot. Just steers it into the net. Farmer can't do anything. Some of the tactics, you know. Just a tilt from right to left. And he goes on the outside of Eccleston. And the header down comes to Jordsbury Hall. And it's a super save by Paul Farmer. And he's creepy inside that far post. It's not the, the finest of connections, but the direction is good. It's going to find the far corner. And Farman, it's a vital fingertip to it. Contact on it. I think he's wrestling with his marker. Pedro Neto scored their fourth goal. Whipped in again, and a, oh, half a chance there for Dizazi. The first effort was from Nkunku. Usby Hall lifts it back to the back post. And the header down comes to Dizazi, who is denied again by Farman. Farman's proximity to Zazi is really close, so no way beyond him. That's the word by Chelsea. Ludwig checks back, delivers into the penalty area, hits go up, it comes to Cassidy. Strike the ball, no way won't. Plenty of bodies in the box. Cassidy, who has been the deep line midfield player so far this evening, joining in into advanced position, meets it well, but just couldn't get a better contact to guide it towards the target. Great driving run from the midfield player. Spence again, bears to take it. Of course, there's another save out of the Chelsea keeper. Fine oh, effort, the only problem was Robinson was standing in that corner. Didn't really have to adjust at all, just pushed it aside. There's the step over. Look at the burners go on from Mudrick and he pulls it back to the... All the edge of the penalty area, well defended by Foley. Acceleration from almost a standing start, it's breathtaking from Mudrick. Goalkeeper takes a, a chance, he takes a gamble, and it is a hat-trick for Christopher Nkunku. A moment to begin the ball, Farmer decides to play from the back, and he's trying to do the ball, he was dispossessed, and then he was punished, and Chelsea had five. Brilliant from Nkunku, I think he just read Farman's intentions there, he was so sharp. Able to nick the ball, and he had a multitude of options. Plenty of players in support, well back to him. By Campbell, he just doesn't expect that intensity to come from Chelsea's main man. There they go, and Chelsea never shut off. And that's it. 